Are you constantly throwing away these half-used caulk tubes because they pretty much dry out and you can't use them anymore? Well, stay tuned because I'll be showing you some tips and tricks on how you can preserve these so you can reuse them on your next project. So stay tuned. Hi friends, welcome to Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, consider pressing the subscribe and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. If you're like me, I've thrown away so many half-used caulk tubes in my life, and the only way that I preserved them before was using masking tape, wrap it around the tube, and pretty much that's it, and I leave it, and by the time I get to the next project, I use it, it's all dried out, and I can't use it again. This video is gonna be broken down into three parts. The first part, we're gonna dissect this caulking tube, and we're gonna see where the drying stops on the actual nozzle, all the way, maybe all the way to the tube. And the second part, we're gonna test out different methods that other people have used to preserve these half-used caulking tubes, and which one actually works, and we're gonna test out different products on which one is the best one on preserving these half-used caulking tubes. On the third part, you wouldn't wanna miss, so make sure you stay tuned because we're gonna to try to put this back to life and we're gonna see if we can actually use a tube that we think is unusable. What I have here is a half-used silicone caulk. I know that this is pretty much dry because I pretty much didn't cap this out real well and I only used this masking tape. And to show you that it doesn't work anymore, use this dripless caulking gun. And as we squeeze, nothing is coming out anymore. It's pretty much clogged. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna slice this in half and see where the drying stopped and if there's actually, the rest of this is actually dry or not. Just give me a quick background on this caulking tube. I've used this a couple of months ago. So let's see how it looks like after that. So opening this, you can see that why these caulking tubes fail is because it dries up pretty much two thirds of the way from the whole nozzle. And you can see that right here, if we touch it, it still is good. This is the only part that is pretty much dry from this whole thing. So pretty much this tube, we can actually still use if we can get this little dried part out. Our biggest enemy when it comes to preserving these half used caulking tubes is air. Is the air going through and penetrating through your seal. Some people like to use tape to seal up their half-used caulk. On this, it's not foolproof. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Most of the time, in my experience, it has not worked because it still ends up drying out. Some people use a nail, a screw, or a shorter nail. So I'm not saying that this is not effective. Some people have good success on these, but on the long run, I believe it's not gonna end up working. You're not gonna get a full seal all the way around. There's still gonna be some little bits of area around this nail that air is gonna penetrate right through. Some people say, hey, put a screw right on the top. This might work, but the problem with this one too is has these threads. Now, when it goes through here, you're gonna have some risk of air penetration through there, which is not gonna create that airtight seal. When I caulk my baseboards or crown moldings, I only cut a small amount at the tip, probably an eighth. So if you are gonna plan to use the nail, make sure you have a variety of sizes. This one, this is not gonna fit right through. So this one fits, but it's still kinda loose. So that would be the closest one, but still, it's still a little bit loose. So it's pretty much a hit and miss when it comes to the nail. Sorry to interrupt you right quick, but if you're enjoying this video so far, please share and like this video so we can spread this out and share it to more people. With that being said, let's get back to the video. Now that we've gone through all the home remedies or home hacks, let's get to some of the products that can actually preserve and help these caulking tubes last a little longer. Here are the so-called caulk saver products that I found out there. Again, I am not sponsored by any of these products. I bought these all with my own money to test it out on this video. But first, let's start off with the price and how much it comes per each price. This one right here are called caulk caps and I'll show you how they work later on. And they come to about $10 for 35 pieces. It's called caulk savers again. Um, it's another form of just like that one, but it's a longer tube. And this comes to around the same price for 25 pieces. So this one's called the caulk nozzle stopper and it has these little ridges. It comes in a four pack and it comes at $10 for all four. This one's called Sealer Tube. This is around seven to $8 for one unit. Got the Airtight. Now this is the bulkiest out of all of them and the most expensive out of all of them because it does come with two. And I want to introduce to you this product right here. It's called Tubanu. The most that you can get out of $10 is pretty much the caulk caps because they come with 35 pieces. Let's see if that's actually worth buying out of all of them 
due to the cheap price and the quantity. Let me show you how to use these caulk caps. They are very easy to use. Take your used caulking tube and just place it right over the tip. Now if you put, place it backwards like that, it's not going to fold down. You got to have it on the reverse side and you're just going to flip it like so. Now sometimes the problem with these is that when you're trying to put these on, they pretty much fly out like that. Go and sleeve it out like this. Now if you're familiar with my caulking videos, I use these caulk savers a lot and I'm going to show you why it does hold up really, really well. The one I've used many months ago and I've actually put this caulking caps right over it and let's see how well it held up. So let me go put this onto a caulk gun. All the products and tools that I use within this video, I'll leave all the links on the description down below. This right here. And you can see that that's from months of saving this from using the call caps and it still comes out fresh. Pretty awesome. This is pretty much one of my go-to. I'm kind of being biased when it already when it comes to these because they're so easy to use, so cheap, and they come with 35 pieces per order. So look at that. So and they're very easy to use. The only thing that you need to worry about these is that make sure when you install these things, make sure that the nozzle tip right here is clean and there's no buildup. Otherwise, you might end up risking or jeopardizing the integrity of the seal. Even though you have a little bump here and there, this is made out of rubber. So it will go over and conform to that bump and it will still make it airtight. Because the, once you use them, you can reuse it. All you got to do is roll it back up like so. Use your caulk and then place it back on top. There you go. You, if you're interested on these caulk caps, I'll leave the link on the description down below. Try it for yourself. For me, it has worked so far. These come in different ridges depending on how much you cut off your caulking tube. It conforms to that. This is kind of similar to the screw. If I do have one that I've installed a couple of weeks back. The only issue that I have for this is that it looks messy. I mean, if when you place this on a bunch of other caulking, you kind of don't want to have this bent down like this or like this because it's going to disturb the seal. It's wet right there. So that means it's preserving it. Another issue that I find with this one, it kind of messes up the hole. So if you're doing any precision work like baseboards and you try to push this in and just trying to shove that in there, it's going to mess up the tip. It's going to deform it at the top. So every time you take this out and reuse it, make sure that you have to wipe it down every time before you actually go and re put it back on the tube because if you don't wipe it right away, you are going to have buildup right here. And the next time you use it, you're going to have some issues because it's going to be, you know, you're shoving all that buildup back in there. And there's a possibility that you can have air going back in here because of all that dried up caulk, not having that nice seal. There's another form of caulk saver. This comes in 25 pieces. It's kind of like the same concept of the caulk caps. Again, this one, I had for a few weeks now easy. All you have to do is place it on top and push it down and it will conform to the tube. So as much as it goes down, it gives it a really airtight around the neck like so. And they're very easy. They have these little tabs where you can just pull and it pops out like that. And there you have it. Yep, it does work after just having this for a few weeks installed on this caulk you store these into different areas you can have it bent like this and will not disturb the seal guaranteed this will work as well so this next one i want to show you is a sealer tube you're probably familiar with this because you can get them in big box stores and it's pretty easy to use um, you have this little thing where you pull out and it preserves the caulk as well again you can see i've had this on for a few weeks too as well and it still is kind of wet right there there's a little piece right there when you bend it it does come out like so so i don't know how well this fit is or how well this will seal over time but a little disturbance of that could possibly mess up the seal and you bend this there's still a little bit of air gap or air space there that could possibly go inside the tube and harden that tube out other issue that i have for this one is cleanup again once you take this out of the tube, you have to clean it up really, really well because the more you use this, the more this top area seal is going to get worn out. Here is the other product that I want to show you today. This is by Airtight. Again, it comes into a tube form. It's supposed to be an airtight tube. Once you're done using your caulk, place it on the tube. It goes right on top like so. So it goes right inside cap it like so and it's supposed to be airtight i like the concept of this it's nice it's clean but for the price of it for 16 dollars to 17 dollars you only get two of these the thing is after you take this out 
there's no way that you can clean out that needle on the inside. I mean, you can probably close this up so that that thing doesn't dry out. If you don't clean it up real well, you're gonna have a hard time pushing this in and there's just gonna be buildup on that little needle over time. I'm just telling you it works, but on the long run, I don't see it very, very practical. So now this brings us to the third part of this video and that is what if you have a caulking tube that you think is pretty much gone, you're gonna trash it because no matter how hard you squeeze it out of your caulking gun, nothing is just coming out. So is this thing still savable? Let's find out. And I want to introduce to you this product right here. It's called Tubanu. We're supposed to cut this in half because technically the, when, you, when these little tubes dry, it only dries up up to the nozzle somewhere around here. I'm going to use my utility knife and extend it all the way out like so. Again, be very careful when you're using a knife. Wear cut resistant gloves. Let me test this out for you friends before we use it. One is pretty much gone. This has been exposed out to the air. There was no cap on this for a long time. And you can see that there is nothing coming out no matter how hard we push into it. What I'm doing is I'm just cutting right at the very top where the metal piece is. Cut around here on the neck. See if there's actually still life on these things. So this one, you can take out some of these areas and take out all the pretty much you think it's drying out areas. You can see right here, hardened right at the top okay that's really hard area right there the new tube new we're just pretty much putting a new nozzle at the top and all you got to do is press down like so and then just push it in like that i'm not going to be using this for a baseboard so i'm going to cut a fairly big tip at the end okay there you go make sure it's pushed all the way or else it won't fit on your call gun okay now let's try it out and you guys could already feel it going through. And look at that. It worked. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. So this thing, I thought it was done for, is actually still alive because of this tube new. I like to put this tape right around here just so that I can have peace of mind that it is kind of airtight at the end. You know, just like so. Tape it up at the end like so. You can just take one of your call caps Place it on top, and there you have it. You just saved yourself 10 to $15 on caulk. Given this one was out in the air open for many, many months. I guess I used this like somewhere last year and I thought it was gone and done for. Good thing I just saved it, put it aside. They come in a lot, 10 for $12. You can't beat that. Again, this one too, I'll leave the link on the description down below. So let me know what other remedies or what other things you do to save your caulking tubes, your half-used caulking tubes to be specific. Let me know in the comment section down below, share with the community. And if you found this video super helpful, friends, please hit that big thumbs up, press the subscribe notification bell, and I'll see you friends on the next video.